Hi, I'm Jeremy Thake, VP of Product Technology here at Hyperfish. Hyperfish provides rich and accurate profile information across all of your Microsoft experiences by continually keeping your Active Directory complete and up to date. In this demo today, we're going to show Megan, a new employee of this organization, receiving an email from our Hyperbot. The email will inform her that she has some attributes that needs to update within her directory. When she clicks on that link, she'll jump into Hyperfish's profile editor and you'll see that there is a variety of attributes that she can update. Now she's going to go in and update her mobile phone number and what you'll see there is, is that there's going to be some validation formatting that's been defined by the organization to make sure that all directory information looks the same. Megan can also go in and update her job title, her department, and obviously anything else such as her manager field here where she'll get people drop down to suggest which manager it is within the organization just in case the spelling might be tough for Diego there. When Megan clicks save what I'll actually do is it will show that there's some pending data there that will have to be approved by someone within the organization. Now Megan also has the ability to go in and update her profile photo. Inside a profile photo much like users will do they'll pick a photo where it's not just Megan in the, in the picture. When she clicks to validate that photo, the Hyperbot will actually reject it and explain that there are just too many faces in that photo to be useful as a profile photo for her within the organization. Now Megan can reuse that photo, but this time rather than cropping it to the entire photo, she can go in there and actually just crop it just to her face. This time, when she submits just to her face in that photo via the Hyperbot, Hyperbot will approve it. We don't just do it for things like too many faces. There may be no humans in the photo. We often know that things like Homer Simpson pictures will be used as profile photos, and Hyperbot can actually prevent those from happening. Now, you don't have to do these things just via a profile. You can go in and respond directly to the email. Now, in this case, Megan has replied that her office location is 1WAC1008. The Hyperbot will actually respond to that email, confirming that the office location is been registered and sent for approval inside the organization as well. Now in the approval side, what you'll see is, is that I can individually as an approver go and approve individual attributes or I can approve them all in bulk. This allows me to prevent people from changing their department automatically or maybe giving themselves a promotion. Now what this will mean is when you look inside the Delve profile for Megan, you'll see the photo being updated, the organizational chart will be updated and this will populate the whole of Delve. What it will also mean is, if someone goes and uses Megan Doyle's name there inside of Outlook Web Access or even Outlook on the client, Megan's contact card will be populated with a photo, or org chart, or office location, a department, job title, and so forth, which makes it a lot easier to decide whether there's other people we should be including on this thread. So there are other ways you can do it as well as in the form and via email. For instance, if I just grab out my phone here and I go into Slack, I can reach out to my Hyperbot, and if I type in help, on the screen here, what you'll see is, is that it'll provide me a bunch of options. And in this case, what I'm actually going to do is going to select Modify Profile. And then it's going to ask me, well, here's what your current profile is, and what would you like to do? So I'm going to select the job title here. And it's going to ask me what the new value is. So I'm going to type in Chief Marketing Officer. And then once I've done that, it'll ask me to confirm that that's what it wants for the update and I'll get a response there and it will show me that that new Chief Marketing Officer job title is pending. So there are lots of ways for the users to engage in updating their people information which will improve the Microsoft experience for all of your users within the organization. So what are you waiting for? Go to hyperfish.com and you'll see a report much like this one here uh, that you can run inside of your on-premises, your hybrid or your Office 365 online environments to get an understanding about how healthy your current directory is.